Jenny, one of the online tutors, and this short video will answer the question, how do I embed my screencast um, gym video into my Google Sites website? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open up your Google Sites website. I would suggest you also open up your Jing account so that you can see the video that you want to um, embed into your Google site. So I'm just using my Jenny's Learning Journey as an example site here and I've got um, just some text that I've typed into the page. So I'm just going to click Edit Page. Okay, so I'm going to put in an example link to the screencast.com video. So linking is quite simple. Um, you can simply just click onto your Jing. If you click on the share icon next to the video, I'm just going to use this um, Weebly link to click a video set. So the little share icon on the left, if I click that, it brings up a box with the different ways you can share it. So if I just want to um, create the link, I can share the URL, I just copy that um, code out of the top box there. And I come back to my Jenny page and I can just go um, link to screencast, that's where I want the link to be. Click on the link and paste it into there. Okay, and I can decide whether to open it in a new window, which I think is always good when you're linking out to a different website. Alright, so that's just creating the link. Now if you want to embed the screencast video onto the page, it's a little bit more complex, but not terribly so. When you go to the insert video, you see you only have a choice of a Google video or a YouTube. So your screencast.com is neither of those, so we can't use that. Alright, so what we're going to do is go back to the Jing video, and you'll see the third box down says embed on your page, the HTML code. Um, that you can put into the website or blog. So you just select that so that it's all blue. Again, you copy it. I come back to my Google site. Now in this case, I can't just select it and create a link. What I need to do is go into the HTML code for it. So I click on the little icon, which is the last one. That's the pencil with the edit HTML source. Click on that and it will open up the HTML. So just Underneath that, I've just done an enter to come down to the next line. All I'm going to do is paste in that code that I copied. It doesn't matter what it says, I just paste it in. However, because I've done this before, I know that this video is too big for my page. But what I'm going to do in this example is to just show you how you can change that. On the first line, it shows the width as being 1256. So if we halve that, that's um, 25 and 3, it's 28, 628 is half of 1256. And if we halve 752, that's 350 and 26, so it's 376. Okay, so on the first line all I did was change them and I've just kept them in the same ratio. I've reduced it by 50%. But you'll also see if you look down to the bottom, I mean, it doesn't matter, the rest of this code won't mean anything, but right on this second last line it also has a height and a width. So we need to change those as well to the same as above. So 376 for the height and the width was 628. So it doesn't matter what the rest of it is, that's all we're interested in, the height and the width. And we click update. Now you'll see it puts a Google gadget onto your screen and doesn't really show it. But once you click save, it will then display your embedded video. Okay, it just takes a few minutes and then you can click on it and play it.